want to talk about this road to that very intense world and how we're actually going to get from where we are today, which is a world, and we're going to use these terms, ANI, AGI, ASI, narrow intelligence, general intelligence, super intelligence. How we're going to get from this world run by narrow intelligence, without us realizing it, this is what we live in right now, to a world with uh, something much, much more extreme. Human and collective intelligence is what allowed us to build what we've built in this world. Because no human, we don't, you, don't, you don't even know how to make a pencil. Okay? You don't know how to get the paint. How do you make paint? How are you going to get the thing smooth and get erased? You know how to make an eraser? No. None of us knows how to do anything. Not one human knows how to do anything. This collective intelligence has become this much higher, much, this has become a super intelligent kind of creature of its own. AI is going to have a much more extreme version of that. Okay? It also doesn't get tired. It doesn't die. It doesn't forget things. Okay? We have forgetful memories. It has perfect memory. It works 24-7. There's all these reasons to believe that AI will not just kind of hang out, but it'll kind of do this. And we'll be saying, oh, look, the, the monkey can do a, a monkey tricks. I mean, so the AI can do bird tricks and monkey tricks. Oh, my God. The AI can do what a five-year-old can do. It's so cute. And then, oh, my God, it's smarter than everyone. You know, it, 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 was, it, was, it was reading a children's book. And then later that, it's like reading the giving tree. And later that day, it's like come up with the, 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 the unifying theory of quantum mechanics and relativity. And we're like, all right. Then what? Right? I mean, this is, what, this is when things start to get really, really intense. Because that arrow goes a lot faster than the arrow on the left. So it can take us a long time to get there. But once it gets there, and this thing is improving itself, uh, and smarter than Einstein, Einstein would have been a pretty sick computer scientist if that's all he did with his life. How about something way smarter than Einstein? And, all those, and, its, own, and its goal is to improve itself, because that's the goal that we gave it. OK, so we call this the takeoff speed, going from Human level, you know, remember, breadth, human level breadth intelligence, meaning you could have a chat with an AI, and it is going to sound like your friend. It's going to understand life. It's going to, you're, going to, you're going to ask advice on anything. You can brainstorm your, your musical with it. You can brainstorm your strategy at work. You can brainstorm a fight with your husband with it. Um, how fast does it get from there to something that we so smart that something we can't even begin to understand? We call that the takeoff speed. There's different arguments about how long, but a lot of people think it's going to be very, very quick because it's this thing recursive self-improvement. Einstein can, can program itself pretty quickly. Something smarter than Einstein can go even quicker, and we can have something called an intelligence explosion. So to look at another one of my scientific graphs, we have the intelligence staircase. Um, now, if this is, you know, this is so somewhat what it would look like, uh, humans and chimps are two steps apart on there, okay? Think about what that two steps means. Think about the power we have over chimps because of those two steps. First of all, not only can, you know, we, I, was, I was hiking the other day and I was just so amazed at night. There's stars, but not just stars, there's so many moving lights in the sky. There's satellites and planes. And I'm thinking, like, how smart are humans that we can put lights in the sky? We're just a fleshy biological creature. We don't want to do that. How far is a chimp from being able to put a light in the sky, right? And not, only, and not only could it not do that, if we tried to show it the light in the sky, it's going to assume it's part of nature. So it can't, it, we couldn't even tell it we did that because it, it's not even capable of understanding what it is, no matter how hard we tried. So let's move that two steps forward, okay? If there's AI on that step, that green step two above us, not only can we not do what it can do, we won't even get what it did, even if it tried to tell us. That's the level of, a, that's the intense level we're talking about here. Something that humans literally aren't capable of understanding. That's the kind of technology that just two steps can do, not to mention power. If, we, if, we, if a chimp is, is a bunch of chimps and a bunch of humans, and they're, they're in a, a battle, not going to go well for the chimps. We have cages. We have is that this is in the stage where philosophy is debating this. Nick Bostrom and others at Oxford and, and, and Ray Kurzweil and a lot of people are talking about this. Uh, I was happy to hear Malcolm after his research say he feels optimistic. I always love hearing that because no one knows. No matter what anyone tells you, they all act, act confident in their opinion. No one knows if this is going to be good or bad right now. We just don't know any better than you can ask a hunter-gatherer. Is, is the internet going to be a good for the economy or bad in 2017? There's no way he can give an intelligent answer to that question. We can try, but it's, 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 it's hopeless. So there's really two questions here. When is this going to happen? And then how is, it, how is this going to turn out for us when we get to this god-like force on this planet soon? 
Well, a lot of people do think we're here. And this is, there's more agreement here than, than there is in the good bad thing. Uh, most AI experts kind of think this is happening. Uh, you know, I expected when I first researched this, some people to say, oh, it's 10,000 years away. We'll never. No, actually, the, 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 sh the short estimates were like 10 years from now, and the long estimates were like 100. I'm like, 100? That's still pretty soon. Like, most estimates uh, have this happening in a lot of our lifespans, okay? Um, so here's, they actually did a survey of like 100, you know, AI experts, and they spanned from the, you know, so the AI experts spanned from the people who were more optimistic than the layman would be to more pessimistic than the layman would be. So some of them are the most skeptical people. And the median, they asked, you know, what, when is it 50% likely that we'll have AI? In other words, when, is, when, when in the future do we hit the year when you believe it's more likely than not that we've hit artificial general intelligence? And they asked the same question for super intelligence, and the answers was 2040 and 2060 was the median answer. That's really soon.